In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to change your Wi-Fi password. And trust me, this is a very simple and easy process where you do not need to hire an IT guy or a technician in order to help you going through this process. And hey, this also works even if you have completely forgotten your Wi-Fi password. If you have forgotten your Wi-Fi password, do not worry because we're gonna set a brand new password so you can regain access into your Wi-Fi router. And as bonus, I'll also show you how to change your Wi-Fi router name and other details related related to your Wi-Fi router. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into the video. What's going on YouTube? My name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing tech related issues and I also do share cool tech hacks. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing to the channel. Today we'll be going through the entire process of changing your Wi-Fi password and set a brand new password. This is a very important process that normally you should actually perform from time to time. I would recommend you guys changing your Wi-Fi password every six months to make sure that you're browsing throughout the internet safe because sometimes we might be having people connected into our Wi-Fi network especially if you live in buildings or if you have a lot of neighbors nearby you might be having someone connected into your Wi-Fi router and as consequences you're not safe and also sometimes your internet speed runs really slow if it goes too slow that's something you need to suspect about it and you gotta change your wi-fi password as the very first precaution method you need to take to make sure that nobody's gaining access to your wi-fi router i'll be showing you two different methods of how to change your wi-fi password and the very first one is using a computer and the second one is using a mobile device so if you do not have a computer at home do not worry because you can also perform this by using your mobile device without further ado let's jump straight into the tutorial so here we are giving a look at two different wireless routers. So this is the one that I currently use, okay? DigiSoul is the name of the brand. And as you guys can see, we've got a few lights in here, lighting because the wireless router is actually turned on. And over here, I've got a Cisco model Linksys E2000 wireless router. So I'm here just trying to show you two different routers so that you guys can have an idea of how a router can actually look like when searching for your router at home and at the back of the router you'll be able to see a few connections in here that look like this of a few LAN cable inputs okay this is how it should look like if you want to make sure if you're actually holding your router or not in this video I'll be running the tutorial on the DigiSoul router because this is the one that I'm currently using and I'll be showing to you how to perform all these steps so the method one is to change your password in situations where you still know your wireless password so basically i'll be using a macbook in here to perform the steps but if you have a windows pc do not worry because the steps are exactly the same the first thing you need to do in here is go straight into your wireless connection area and connect into your wi-fi router so in my case this is the name of my wi-fi router let me quickly connect into it boom i'm connected into it and then you need to open your internet browser in my case i'm using a google chrome browser in here next up we need to copy the IP address which is located at the back of your router which is also known as the gateway so we need to copy this code in here in my case it's 192.168.2.1 so this depends on your routers brand so make sure that you double check correctly the IP address and then simply type it in here on your address bar Press enter and then you'll be able to see a web page that looks just like this one. Of course, you might be having a different brand in here if you have a different router, a different color and a different layout. But the content is the same, which is having a username and a password and a login button in here. You need to be landing on a login page. Next up, you need to type in here the details which are actually here at the back of your router right nearby your IP address. In my case, it's admin and then I've got here one, two, three, four. So let me type in one, two, three and four and then I'll tap here on login to login into my router information, okay? Now, please note that in some situations you might not be able to access this page because the router's password has been changed from the default password that comes with the router. In that situation, all you need to do is just wait a little bit and watch the video in the method number two where you have forgotten your password in order 
needed to know how to access this page. So over here, we've got a lot of details about our router and how it's working, okay? And we're gonna search for a tab which is known as wireless or wireless connection or wireless connectivity, something which is related to the wireless setup, okay? So I'll tap here on wireless and as you guys can see in here, we've got a lot of details about my router. So this is the name. The name is normally known as SSID, okay? And this is the name of my router Wi-Fi. I can pretty much change this to anything. Let me change it to, for example, test. Okay, I can keep it that way. And down here, we've got security option to change the type of security that you've got, but I would recommend you guys to stick to WPA2. Okay, this one is one of the best security options for me. And down here, we've got the password. Okay, here we've got the pre-shared key or password, depending on how your manufacturer actually named this label on your router. All you need to do is simply change your password. Okay, so I'm gonna change my password in here real quick let me erase it and i'm gonna allocate test one two three as my password next up once you're done boom you just need to tap here on apply or save okay so it says that i need to set at least eight characters no problem let me add a little bit more of characters in here one two three four five next up simply tap on apply and boom here we go our wireless password has been changed and as you guys can see you'll immediately be logged out of your wireless connection because in order to reconnect you need to type in the new password so now in method number two, if you have forgotten your password for good, if you do not remember your password, all you need to do is first get a pen or a toothpick because this is going to be useful for you guys here in this process. So first thing is first, make sure you guys turn on your router and make sure that it's connected, okay? As you guys can see in here, my Digisol router is connected and we've got a few lights over there blinking or turned on on my router. Next up, without messing the connections in here behind, we're gonna search for a button which says reset. So depending on your router, you need to search for that button in my case in my router it's here on the left side and as you guys can see we've got reset so we're gonna need the pen or a toothpick and we're going to press the button which is inside okay so simply press it for a few seconds until you see your lights rebooting on your device so keep on pressing it for a few more seconds and here we go the buttons are now resetting as you see they blinked once and then twice and now our router is actually reset into a brand new router without any password set up into it. Now, just to showcase to you guys, for example, in my Linksy Cisco router, I've got the button here at the back. As you can see, the reset button is right here. So it depends on your router manufacturer. You need to search a little bit around the router to find the reset button right there. So once we're done resetting our password, we need to go straight back into our computer, turn on our Wi-Fi connection and connect into the router. As you guys can see, the name of the router has changed and now it's DG Soul as it's set to brand new. We're going to tap on the router. We're going to tap here on join. Okay. And by default, your router won't be having any password. Then you need to hop straight into your internet browser and type the same IP address that we have seen at the back of our router. In my case, it's 192.168.2.1. I'll tap on enter. Boom, here we go. We've got the same login page. I'm gonna tap here my password, which is 1234. Tap on enter. Boom, here we go. We're now logged in into our router and I'm gonna go straight into that wireless tab that I've showed to you guys and then I'm gonna change my name SSID to test here we go and then over here in the security options you need to change it to WPA2 this is the one I recommend you guys if you don't find WPA2 then you can use a different security measure all of them are going to allow you to allocate a new password in my case I find WPA2 the safest one and then simply set up your password key in my case I'll use this one fixed by shack123 and then tap on apply and boom here we go now the router has a new password.
So now moving into the last method where we'll be using our phone. The process is pretty simple and do not worry because you can actually do this on any mobile device. In my case, I'll be using an iPhone, but if you have an Android phone, do not worry. The process is the same. The very first thing you need to do is connect to your wireless router. Okay, turn on your Wi-Fi connection. It's now scanning. Here we go. This is the name of my router. And as you guys remember, the password that we set up was fixed by shack one two three right let me quickly connect into my wireless connection boom here we go we're now connected into my wi-fi router and the next thing we need to do is hop into our internet browser and type in that same ip address that we have at the back of our router in my case it's 192.168.2 dot one tap on go and here we go we're now giving a look at that same login page where we need to type in the admin and the 1234 password that we have seen at the back of our router let me quickly type it tap on login and here we go we're now logged in into our router and we can change anything in here about our router next step was to tap here on wireless and simply hop into the pre-shared key in order to change your password and then tap here on apply that's all you need to do to change it from your phone and in case you have forgotten and you do not remember your wi-fi password it's very simple simply go through the reset process that i've showed you in method one okay reset your wi-fi and then do the exact same process connecting to your wireless router by using your phone without any password and then you can change the name of your router as well as the password using these steps right here so this was it for today guys thank you so much for watching fixed by shack and for making it till the end of the video if you have any question or any doubt do not hesitate leave your question in the comment section below and i'll make sure i get to you as soon as possible i'll see you in the next one peace